Let's take a look at this. Let's go over the uh, uh, on how to enter based upon these two far right charts. We know that market profile sets the trades up. So let's look on the last entry off the control point. Now, let me circle it right here. This is a control point trade. The blue line represents the most volume that has traded in that instrument where you have our software on that particular instrument. So we're, this is crude oil. And that blue line will represent the most volume that's traded in that instrument, meaning it takes all the, like I said, high frequency traders, all the algorithms, you know, all the hedge funds, prop firms, retail, novice traders, and it spits out one big blue level. That blue level is the most volume that's traded. You'll see times where it'll stop the market to the tick. It's that accurate. So we have to be aware we want to trade that with trend. If the trend is up, you want to buy retracements to the control point. If the trend is up, you want to see it break the control, retest the control with the trend up. The only time we don't trade this blue line is if the market is flat as a pancake. If that magenta MA is flat and going horizontal across the chart, we do not want to play the blue line at all. We want to sell the outer edges, sell the red, buy the green on a flatter range market. On the first and second test of it, then we'll let it break outside the red, outside green, and take the first retest. But let, the reason I want to do this video right here is to show you how you can enter off that control point on a second test trade. If, if, you are, if you are testing a level the second time off of a market profile, this is a control point most volume traded, we're allowed to buy off of it. Typically what you would do on the first test trade is you would get in with a market profile, I mean market delta. So market delta, if it fires off on a market delta, you would fire off when it closes green over here on market delta. So if it touched the first test is blue, you would take the first green and you would wait till it closes green and open the position at the next bar. Your stop loss would be two ticks below the swing low. And then if the market would ever, in the first three or four bars, close back red on market delta, you would take a small loss or small profit. Because we want to see consecutive green, 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 green until we hit our first target. Now that's on first test trades of market profile. That's the best way to do it. First test trades a market profile, you can use market delta. When you're talking about a second test area, the, the order flow is usually taken out quite considerably. So what I like to do is I like to look at my momentum Renko bar over here. I like to enter off the J signal chart on second test trades and shallow 38% retracements. So what we'll do, and when it hits a control point, you're going to wait till it closes green. Once it closes a green bar, you can open the position up. Now, this bar would have fired off right here. These two green bars would have fired off. Your live fill would have been right around 19, 53, 19 on this trade. Your initial stop loss is going to be two ticks below the swing low. And now the key important thing is this. Once you get filled at 19 live, once you get filled right there, live uh, 19 fill, it's at a key market profile level. The trend's up. It's a second test area. Here's the, here's the first early in the morning. Here's the second. So if you do get a second test trade, you can watch the green bars. But once it closes green, you can enter the position. Stop loss, two ticks below the swing low. On the, on the following bars, if it closes red on a closing basis, not blue, blue is spinning top, dojis are plus signs, they don't count. If it ever closes red, you want to take yourself into a small loss on the trade or a small profit. The reason I do this is that I use market delta on the gray chart on first test trades of market profile because that is a true indication of order and balance. What happens when you start hitting second or third test areas on an area, the market becomes weakened because the order flow has already been taken out. So what I want to do, if that's going to bounce off the control point right here like it did on the second test area, just since 8.30, if it's going to bounce, this momentum indicator should call the move all the way to our first target. So it's a great way to reduce risk because 
we're not risking $130 like we normally do on market buildup for one contract. You're risking right around a max, right around 70 bucks typically on this trade if it closes red, even after you initially get in. Well, let's say it posts a couple green bars and then it closes red. You have a potential of actually closing a loop, losing position into a positive position for the more for the uh, for the trade. You could net six, seven, eight ticks, where over here in market delta you would have a possible small loser. So that's how we do second test trades, second test areas on market profile. First test areas simply very simple trade market delta. Second test areas. The best way to do it, to educate traders, is at the bottom of the 135-page PDF. I give trading tips. That's the best way I like to look at it, is using the momentum indicator. Because if it's going to go on a second test, it should just go. And that's a great way to reduce risk if you want to reduce risk. And um, I try to educate traders how to keep smaller stops and still do very, very well. Go over to gold, Gerald. So gold, if you look at gold, on gold, we'll see if Gerald can switch over for me. Switch over to gold, Gerald, if you can. One second. All right, if you look at gold, so now I know on gold, if I get back to this zone up here, you see the control point sitting up here? That's the most volume that's traded on gold. That tells me my next setup would be this sell zone of, eight, of LVA and on the control point. So the market can come back up and retrace back up into this zone. I'm going to look for a negative market delta because it's not a, it's a first test trade. You see how they got rejected there earlier? This is a sell zone. LVA and the control point, that's the most volume traded. It's never tested that level yet. Never retested within a couple ticks. So that tells me that that is a first test trade. I'll wait for the market to get back up, look for a negative market delta on the gray chart, and then pop in the trade. Now, if it would have came up here and tested once, if it would have tested once and went back down already, right? If it would have tested once and went back down, and then the second try, it comes up and tests it and goes back. And once it tests the second test, then I would use the momentum indicator here on the white chart. But the first test trades like this one coming up on gold, use market delta. Simple as that. Don't make it any more difficult than that. Okay?